All right, hello, my name is Anne Suspind. I'm a fellow at the University of Michigan. Uh, this project is done jointly between the University of Michigan and the RAND Corporation. And this is part of the RICE study, or the RAND uh, Interstitial Cystitis Epidemiology Study. And this study is in men, and it is called the prevalence of interstitial cystitis bladder pain syndrome and chronic prostatitis, chronic pelvic pain syndrome in men. So uh, this... Uh, this study consisted of a national population-based tele telephone screening of over 6,000 uh, men in the United States. Uh, we use what makes this project unique is that we use two uh, validated definitions: one for each of the, uh, the um, excuse me, one for each of the conditions that we're studying. So, for interstitial cystitis, we used a definition that we actually borrowed from the Rice uh, study in females that was developed and validated in that population. And there's a, both a high sensitivity uh, definition of interstitial, interstitial cystitis bladder pain syndrome, which has a sensitivity of 81% and a high uh, specificity uh, definition, which has a specificity of 83%. Uh, for chronic prostatitis, we used a definition that uh, is validated by Nichols and all. Uh, and this uh, includes two parts. It's a score of greater than or equal to four uh, on the NIH chronic prostatitis syndrome symptom index and in plus the presence of uh, perineal or ejaculatory pain. And that has a sensitivity of 70% and a specificity of 91%. So like I said, we screened over 6,000 households and right here this table shows the estimates that we found. Uh, so basically it was almost 2% of the population had uh, chronic prostatitis, chronic pelvic pain syndrome and uh, almost 2% had uh, the high uh, specificity definition of interstitial cystitis. Uh, so that's about 2 million men in the United States for each of the conditions. And then in this Venn diagram here, you see that the percent of overlap among men who had these conditions is 17%. So uh, in conclusion, approximately 2% of US men report symptoms of either uh, interstitial cystitis chronic, uh, or chronic uh, prostatitis. Uh, the degree of overlap between the two is not large. It's around 20%. Uh, the uh, prevalence incidence of interstitial cystitis in men is fairly similar to that that we found in women, which was 2.6%. So uh, it suggests that these conditions are widespread and fairly common.